Documentation of data helps to provide context and make the data understandable to others. Good documentation of research data includes, for example, recording the details on how the data were collected or generated, indicating which methods, instruments, and software were used. In your project, it is also important to document the entire research process. For example, who has worked with the data? What has been done with the data? How are these data related to other data sets or publications? When collecting data, but also when writing code, it is important to record changes to the data or code over time using versioning control so that you can recall specific versions later if needed. It is a good idea to agree with your colleagues and collaborators on a common strategy for structuring and documenting the data at the outset of the project. This ensures that you and others are able to find, read, and understand the data at a future point of time. An important type of documentation is metadata, which is data describing data. For example, when you take a picture with a microscope, metadata such as date, time, file size, and the camera's technical specifications are automatically saved with the image and embedded in the file. To provide more context to the image, you probably need more than the embedded metadata. For instance, in the file name of each image, you might wish to add a name or title of the object pictured in the image or prepare an additional file with information such as the author of the image and the experimental protocol you use to prepare the samples. Metadata is very relevant to both humans and machines to access, understand, and process data. Researchers have always worked with metadata, and many disciplines have developed standards for data description, for example, in genomics or in astronomy. Metadata standards are used to establish a common understanding of the meaning of the data to ensure correct use and proper interpretation of the data. Whenever possible, use metadata standards that are established within your research discipline established according to best practices, or commonly accepted and used by your research community. If there is no common standard in your discipline, you can include all relevant metadata of a data set, for example, in a README file. Be sure to provide all information that others will need to understand and reuse the data. Good metadata ensures that data is easily findable, interoperable, and reusable across systems, disciplines, and languages. When you properly document research data, providing all relevant metadata, you are on your way to making your data fair.